Hey everybody, welcome to another video on how to solve Rubik's Cube. Uh, today, this video, we are looking at the 2x2x2 two by two by two Rubik's Cube. Now, before I continue, I just want to mention it's probably a very good idea for you to check out my video on the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. In order to solve this one, you're going to need to know how to do that one. And then just apply what you learn here into this one. Be sure to check that out on my channel and once you do you can come right back here. I'm going to assume you have seen this or you at least know how to solve a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube um, in order to solve this 2x2. Two two. If you know how to solve the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube, you will know how to solve the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. Uh, some people call it deceptively difficult, I call it deceptively easy. Um, and in this video I'm going to show you how to solve this cube using only two algorithms. A few things if you notice. One important thing to remember with this cube is that it has no center piece. Now if you remember my other video with the 3x3 three three cube, um, this center piece cannot move in a 3x3 three three cube. This has no center piece. When you have a 2x2 two two or a 6x6 six six or a 4x4, 8x8, four four, uh, eight eight, so on and so forth, uh, you're going to have a problem called parity, where you have the blocks in the right place, but they are flipped. So you would have, let's say, instead of this, you have a red and white here, and the red is over here, the white is over here. So we're going to run into that problem with this cube. Another thing you want to remember is this white is against this yellow, always. If you look at any cube, the colors are always going to be in the same position. Green here, I know automatically on the opposite side of green is going to be blue. Same with this one. So let's check. Oh, there's blue. So blue goes with green, orange goes with red, and white goes with yellow, always. It's easy to know what the center color is, uh, what the face color is with this cube because the center never moves. But with this one, you have to memorize what goes with what. So let's give this thing a mix. Okay, all good and mixed. Just remember that you have faces like front, right, left, and bottom and top. Okay, or, you know, down and up. Okay, remember those from the 3x3 three three video. Uh, again, if you have not seen that, I highly recommend you check that one out first. So the way we're going to solve this is pretty simple. If you've seen this one, it'll really make some sense. We solved, in order to solve a 3x3 three three cube, you solve one face, or one layer, then the second layer, then the third layer. If you notice with this cube, it only has two layers. So we can cut out the steps it takes to do this layer, and just focus on the steps it takes to only do corner pieces in a Rubik's Cube that is 3x3. Three three. If you remember from this video, we can take a cube's corner piece and bring it up top by doing one algorithm. So first, look for any piece you want. It doesn't matter what piece you're looking at. Let's look at, uh, let's say, green and yellow this piece. You're going to focus on only these two colors and look for another cube that also has these two colors. And in my case, it's right here. Green and yellow here, green and yellow here. So I want it right below where it needs to go. And we're going to do the following algorithm, which you are should be familiar with uh, when you're solving a three by three cube. We're going to go right inverted, down inverted, right, down. And we're going to keep on going until it's solved. In my case, it just solved on the first try, which is great. But you can do this up to six times. If you do it six times, it will go back to the original position. We have this one done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this one. So we're going to look for orange and yellow. Let's look for orange and yellow. Lucky, orange and yellow right here. So let's do it. Right inverted down inverted, right, down, okay, nothing yet, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, 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 there you go, salt, blue, yellow, oh look, blue and yellow is right here, so I want to bring it down, because that's where it should begin at the beginning, so we're going to take it, right, and then move it out of the way, and then bring everything back up. Okay, now it's out of the spot, 
we have yellow and blue here. Let's come back over here. And now let's put it up here. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. And check it out. We have an entire face solved. That was pretty easy, right? Uh, we have one more layer to go, but we cannot do what we did for this top layer over here, or else we're going to mess up everything we've already accomplished, just like when we're using the 3x3 cube. So what we're going to do is we're going to only follow the steps it takes to solve the corner pieces, because this is a cube made up of only corner pieces and only two layers. So ignoring this layer entirely, ignoring all of these algorithms to make crosses, we're just focusing on the corner pieces, and we're going to solve this with no problem. This is your second algorithm you're going to need to know. You might run into some trouble here. Important thing to remember is this color here is yellow, so we want this color to be white. Don't forget that. So what we're going to do next is we're going to look for two colors here that match two colors here all the way around, even if they're not correctly positioned. So let's check it out. First of all, we have green and orange. So I should have green and orange here. I have green, I have orange. Great. This one should be green and red. This one is uh, not in the right position. Uh, this one, blue and yellow, blue, <laughs> blue and red, um, not in the right position. And blue and orange is in the right position. So these two are in the right position. These two are not. So we're going to try an algorithm. We're going to take the same algorithm as we have for the 3 by 3 where we have one in the right position, right by our right side, by our thumb here, and we're going to do the following algorithm, which should be familiar to some of you. So we're going to do up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. So let's take one more peek. Orange and green, orange and green. <laughs> Red and green, not red and green. Red and blue? Yes, red and blue. And blue and orange, not blue and orange. So if you notice, uh, we did change some stuff, but what happened is we have one corner piece wrong, one corner piece wrong, and these two are correct. If that happens, this is called parity. So if I were to solve this cube right now, everything would be fixed except for these two colors being flipped. So we're not going to do that. We're going to actually fix these two corners so that everything gets organized. So all we're going to do is holding the cube with the good Q corner piece uh, where it is right here, we're just going to twist it once. Then we're going to try the algorithm one more time. So let's do it again. Up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right, inverted, up inverted, left. Now we're going to check everything. This is not in the right spot. This is not in the right spot. This is not in the right spot. This is in the right spot, blue and orange, blue and orange. So we're going to come over here and we're going to do the algorithm one more time. See what happens. Up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left inverted. Now we're going to check. We have blue and red. Great. Blue and orange. Blue and orange. Green and orange. Green and orange. And red and green. Red and green. Everything has been fixed. And that is the easiest solution on how to solve the corner parity problems of a 2x2 two two cube. That's all I need to know. Only two algorithms in order to solve this puzzle. Now we can go back to the original algorithm and solve these pieces. So we're going to start here. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. 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 Now we want to stop when it's white because this side should be yellow. So yellow here, white here. So now this is very, this one is perfect. Don't worry about it. We're going to hold it facing us and we're going to twist it once. This one is also already fixed. So we're going to leave it alone. White is here. It's good. We're going to twist it one more time. And we're going to solve this one. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. And with one or two more twists, you have solved your 2x2 two two cube. And that's it. 
Some people say deceptively hard. I say deceptively easy. As long as you know how to do a three by three cube, you can do a two by two cube. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to leave um, comments in the comment section. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and you'll see me in the next video. Uh, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.